so um, I strung all the beads and I have it in this bowl and I'm gonna have some crimp tubes for myself so this necklace is gonna be a front open necklace that means the closure will be in the front rather than the back and I had six strands about say 13 inches in long, uh, length so 12 inches one foot so um, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two strands uh, but a little bit longer because 12 inches per strand is very small even though it's for a kid um, I feel that it is very very small so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna unwind these because this is how you need to keep otherwise the beading wire will kink as you guys can already see it's already kinking um, and it's a good safe practice to actually put the bead stopper in and take all these items actually you can keep these in here so that it's safe and secure okay so now we need to figure this out and I'm gonna take the entire strand move it down so that I know exactly where I am okay if possible what I will do is I'll take one more bead stopper and hold it right there okay so just for the time being so that I can measure this let me just measure this so that's um 12 inches 24 36 48 and 60 and 60 I would say let me see just in case okay one two three four five sixty five inches approximately I have so if I divide that into two I somewhere around 32 and a half okay 32 inches is what right so that's 12 it's 24 and 32 means it's gonna be an 8 inch so so let's say here okay so I'm gonna separate this I'm gonna take the bead stopper and I'm gonna move these beads a little bit to the other side so that I have enough space so I have divided that into half first of all that's that's gonna be the first thing so this is about say the um, 32 and a half inch okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold this in the middle you don't have to be exact you know it can be approximate so two strands it's gonna be mm, I'm just gonna keep it like that and then I'm gonna separate these two and then I'm gonna put it in my bead stopper so that's one strand I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it here. So that's going to be one strand for you. Take another bead stopper. Add it right here. Okay. You need at least this much of a distance to actually crimp. And then push all the beads down. Okay then add it the other the other end as well to the bead stopper that's the next strand and then cut it about here so now you 
you have the two strands to work you can do it this way or you can you know calculate it and then add the beads cut it add the beads cut it you can do it that way as well so let's see just see this one is um, a little bit smaller so that one is supposed to be the bigger one so let's secure the small one first then go to the big one and this is our toggle clasp and I want to make a dangle I'm making two necklaces and I'm making both of them similar um, okay so two of my nieces gets these I have some ball head pins in my stash I'm taking two of them I have a 10 millimeter carnelian I have two this was from one of the bargain bead box subscription and I feel that this orange nicely complements this blue so what I'm gonna do here is take my and this is a patina it's a bead cap which has a teal patina to it and this also came in the box and I feel that this nicely complements each other let's see oh my god this ball head pin doesn't have a head which is big enough for my um, uh, for my 10 millimeter bead you can do is you can take a um, small bead or something but uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to use the same bead because um, it's a small one first of all right it'll tie the thing you can actually add a spacer bead or you can add you know a bead stopper or something like that you can do it either way but you can also do it this way I'm gonna see if it looks nice I don't think so it does um, but it ties everything together that is a good one let's see if I have something else I can add it to it so the spacer beads can always be added to it it's absolutely nothing wrong in it and I shall go ahead and grab some so this kind of a spacer bead would be a good one but also also a bead uh, cap like just like this bead cap the smaller one so here is my bead cap a small one um, but that will work okay that will be very beautiful I guess let's see how it goes see how nicely it is there I kind of really like the look but if you want you can So there's a couple of things when wire wrapping this I want this to be in the toggle the toggle is nice and white and it's also thick so I want this to be um, a big loop so that it can move freely so hold my round nose pliers on top bend it at 90 degrees reposition the pliers and then see the loop is kind of a big loop so hold it like this bring it around now add it to your toggle okay and hold everything together in place see that take your pliers and go ahead and wrap them take your time while wrapping don't rush it okay 
that's nice and secure I'm just going to take my wire cutters and snip the excess wire off that's that and see if you have a small thing to tuck in which I do just squish it with your pliers tweezer nose pliers is of a great help for this okay now that that's done that's our dangle okay and I'm gonna attach these two to the with some uh, crimp tubes crimp beads or crimp tubes doesn't matter whichever you have available just take one strand remove one side okay take a spade um, crimp tube add it to the toggle the bar part since these crystals are so small you don't have to worry about this toggle part going sideways otherwise it has to go like this to lock in right so this is small it doesn't matter go through the crimp bead or crimp tube whichever you have and also the adjacent bead on the last if you can which it is going through so I can so I'm just doing one bead okay and I'm just gonna move this all the way down we don't want a lot but we want this to move freely as well and then hold that there you can flat crimp it or use your crimping pliers it's up to you I'm gonna flat crimp there we go and then I'm gonna snip this short tail which is sticking out you can also push the bead on top of both the cords but I choose to do this I leave that down push all the beads to that end okay this is what I have just making sure that the tip is gone inside the bead rather than sticking outside if I can there we go push all the beads down at this end and then okay so take the next crimp tube and go through the other part of the toggle go through that come back through it and also a couple of beads if you can okay there we go now hold these two pull that thing closer but you will have to hold the tail hold the toggle part and pull these so that the slack will completely go out see how it's nice uh, it was nice and straight and now it's all curvy because it kinks so there is our loop see if your loop is nice and big or small over it matches the other side or not okay and then go ahead and crimp first okay see you need a little bit of a uh, smoothness to it so there's a little bit of a gap which I really want my necklace to have I don't want this to be stiff so I just grab that and cut that tail off of my necklace and then try to squish that small thing inside this is nice and secure now now what I'm gonna do here is okay this is how the necklace will sit on the neck that's just one strand you can stop at this point it's totally up to you but I like to do double strands so I'm just gonna keep this um, necklace like that take my other necklace okay the other strand I mean 
release one end of the bead cap and I want this to be exactly just a little bit more of beads is needed so that's okay but you need to be careful if you are doing a, mm, you know since I have the other ones which is not done yet I'm okay see this it's still not that exact strand size I just want a little bit down I don't want this to be the same size as the inner one I treat this as an outer strand only so I need a couple more beads for that to achieve that I added three extra beads and I'm checking the crumb tubes so this one I'm gonna add it through this loop bring it back through my crimp tube and probably one or two crystals if I can if not it's all fine actually you can it's not actually going so I'm good I'm just gonna pull the tail end just a bit up and see how I crimp the other one so you want the exact same kind of a loop you don't want it big I mean small or big it's better if you match the other one so that wire tend to crisscross inside so make sure it's not and just crimp that and then take this tail and go as close to the crimp tube as possible and snip it off okay I added three beads I told you guys um, it needed that much so let me see how the other side looks now okay so that's the one which is already done <coughs> now I keep this and I want it to be exactly just below the other one see that it needs just about say two two beads more maybe um, um, yeah just two beads more since I have that other one left I can offer to do this but not in the next necklace so I have to do the bigger one first uh, do the outer strand first and then do the inner strand that way you can take it out if you want to you can all I uh, mean if you don't have any more beads you cannot add it right so now I add this and I check yeah that's about say right as you guys can see so always keep in a U format um, go through the same loop because these beads are small in size you don't have to really worry about a double strand clasp or something like that so try going through the crystal if possible let's see okay came out let's try again so you do need a little bit of wire to manipulate this so don't cut your strands very short I have done that several times you know by the way especially when I'm using the high-end bead weaving wire for some reason it's not going through the crystal not even one so it's okay I just pull this see hold this and pull this tight and making sure everything is nice and okay because once you do this you cannot go back and change it 
so making sure everything is nice and then go ahead and crimp that down flat and snip that wire off as close to the crimp tube as possible now you have a beautiful double strand necklace which closes in the front this is how it looks okay this is how it looks okay I hope you guys like this tutorial if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification I'll finish the other one and add a picture at the end thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye if you'd like to support my channel there is a heart symbol down in the bottom hit that thanks and donate as much as you can thank you bye bye